Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So this was the first video of the day. This was a Patreon exclusive, uh, literally stuff that you really can't put on YT without totally uh, getting ourselves shut down again. Escaping the extinction. Oh, yes. Disease X, rapid aging and turbo cancers. What's really going on? Inquiring minds. No, <laughs> because they've inquired. Indeed, they have. Yeah, it's pretty obvious what's going on. There's a lot of things obvious. First, we want to thank our newest patrons. Yes, we want to say a huge thank you to John and Miss Carolina. You guys help keep us going. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much over there at Patreon with the growing family. And this just really hits home because I know people in the family that no matter how much we tell them not to, eat things like this or give them to the kids they still do because they're just easy well consumer reports is calling for the removal of lunchables from school trays all across the country after discovering concerning levels of lead and sodium and other harmful chemicals in their packaging and products sold in stores you know we never even think uh well we do um and you probably do too but most people don't even think of the fact that if something is wrapped in something, that that could be leaching into your food, especially in high heat. And then in the opposite case, uh, where people say would stick, it would kill me, you know, stick a water bottle in the freezer, grab it, and, you know, they're going to drink from it all day as it thaws out. You're drinking in those toxic chemicals. I hope nobody listening does that. I hope not. You know, it's it's the off-gassing in the worst way, but I also understand moms and dads and work and how exhausting it can be and how tempting it could be to grab something uh, quicker. Unfortunately, this is a really slow process. It's a very slow poisoning, so we don't see it right away. But I know moms and dads who really love their children. I mean, if you know your child is reaching for something poisonous, you would definitely cut that off and stop it. But the system makes it seem like it's not poisonous. So, I mean, parents aren't so quick to jump. And it's just not fair. The level of exhaustion that people are going through just to put food on the table I mean, it, it's just, it's inhumane, but it is time for us to start finding new ways to uh, make that food easier for children to get and healthier for children to get and for ourselves too. Very important. Yeah. yeah you know, as we were showing this the other uh, day, or maybe it was even this morning, yet nature, nature, natural natural absolutely give the kids fresh fruit food actual food this stuff is just i mean it's processed it's toxic for one you know if you are eating american cheese it's not even really cheese uh just like i hope there's nobody out there that uses any form of margarine you're much better off with real organic butter but then you still have to be careful where it comes from uh because things like gil bates's or Organa peel can be on a lot of different substances. I, I was looking at organic lemons and limes in uh, a couple of the stores, and none of them were not sprayed with some sort of coating. Those coatings will leach in, and then we eat it, and it's just a slow toxic buildup. There's, uh, there's nitrates in, in luncheon meat, so unless you're eating... Uh, meat that specifically says organic, you know, organic free range, no nitrates, no nitrates. And nitrates are what, what's the most killing thing about these processed meats. But there's other stuff as well. You know, we, we don't take in regular sodium. Uh, we buy pink Himalayan salt. That's our preference. I know some people like sea salt too. In fact, I had about a 25 pound bag of pink Himalayan and I just got in another 80 pound bag because it, in my view, you know, it's something we could barter and trade with in a, in a worst uh, scenario. The minerals that you get from pink Himalayan salt are so beneficial. And then once you get used to pink Himalayan, if you're buying like Morton's table salt, it'll make you sick. Because you, you'll recognize how gross it is and how bad things taste 
once you change your taste buds, get get used to the natural way of what foods are supposed to taste like, then you won't be able to go back because it really won't be appealing to you anymore. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, the salt is not a total loss because it is good for cleaning. I mean, it's great for scouring those pans. You get it on there and you just scrub it really good and it helps lift stains and everything. So not a total loss. No, yeah, and Cindy does buy some of the regular salt, but we don't eat it. No. <laughs> we, no, no. That's the thing, we don't eat it. And again, I'll buy the pink Himalayan in bulk. And to me, it's just... It's a must. So what are all these dots? The, this is an interactive m- map showing uh, areas that have drinking water issues. Drinking water issues where the water is testing above acceptable levels with, um, you know, see that light blue for those forever chemicals. Look, I can't see New Jersey. Where's Connecticut? Where's Rhode Island? Ma- Massachusetts and from. New Hampshire, I mean, they're all totally covered. Uh, it looks like probably the majority of California is covered as well. A lot of Colorado is covered. It's, it's sporadic in Texas, uh, as you can see, southern Louisiana uh, over here. Um, in Alabama, Florida is pretty covered. The Carolinas are all covered as well. Atlanta is all covered. The water is not safe, so hopefully everybody is is absolutely filtering and not drinking out of plastic. You don't want to drink out of plastic. Again, we were talking today about how sperm counts are dropping off a cliff. And in fact, we might become a completely infertile species in another 20 to 40 years. Unable to reproduce. Unless maybe there's some sort of uh, intervention. <sighs> Yes, it, they, there's everything you look at. Every time you turn, there, there's another thing. And there's a lot of shootings. This is a shooting going on in uh, Philadelphia. This is a Ramadan uh, event, the festival that comes after Ramadan. They, they say that they have uh, arrested or apprehended uh, four suspects con- confiscated four to five firearms. Multiple people were shot. Um, not known exactly what the motivation was. Just crazy. There was hundreds of people gathering in this uh, area to celebrate the end of Ramadan. And, you know, be on the lookout because there's been a lot of shootings in initial reports of five people shot in D.C., three adult males, one adult female, one child, one pronounced DOA. Um, and n- no more info other than this vehicle. They're looking for this particular vehicle. So, I mean, is it? Is it drugs? Is it just chaos, the normal type of chaos? Or are we watching something else start to happen? Remember, uh, an awful lot of those illegals that came across the border, there was a lot of them that were literally convicts. And we know that because you know we've been told that by the officials. And a lot of them have been caught and released. And there's been a lot coming over that are in cartels and in gangs. And they just have ill intent. And there's going to be a lot of chaos. There's going to be a big uptick in chaos. When I was looking at D.C. shootings, there's there's been a shooting pretty consistently lately. This is another uh, suspect. As you see, this was from a previous one. It's just been kind of kind of crazy. And... We're talking about the geoengineering and all the rain. Yazoo County, Mississippi sheriff warns residents the levees are about to break. Great Led Zeppelin song. When the levee breaks, yeah, absolutely. It's been nonstop rain in some areas. Uh, They were showing uh, Ireland. It is so completely cloud covered, you can't even see the island. Uh, It's crazy what's going on. And... Um, One of our family members in Colorado was talking to somebody from the UK that said they just had to get away because it was just too depressing. It's been nothing but clouds and rain. And you see all these declassified programs that are going on. Literally, Gil Bates was approved. uh, His plan was approved and put into uh, a testing mode over in San Francisco, the same place where they had 
Operation Sea Spray back in 1950. Don't forget Operation Popeye, where they literally flooded out uh, Vietnamese villages using weather modification again during the Vietnam War 50 plus years ago. Oh, look, more weather manipulation under the pretense of saving the planet, this time from the ground rather than the air. Cloud brightening program? Really? You know, it's interesting, too, because all I've been getting in uh, Dreams and Visions is cold and wet, cold and wet. And I think that's going to be multiple things. I do expect that we're going to see some new uh, volcanic activity coming. I think that's definitely uh, it's coming in line in the near future. But the people that are waking up to geoengineering, it's, it's wonderful to see people waking up in droves, at least to this issue. As you know, you're looking at farms over in the UK, they're totally underwater and people have never had this problem before. Never. And they say it's global warming. It's because of, you know, gas emissions from your car. The reality is, yeah, there's geoengineering that's been going on at increasing levels. We're not idiots. We see the clouds all the time. More and more people are pointing out this as a fact. It's just so obvious, but yet, you know, they, they act like it's conspiracy. Well, you know, again, this, this right here is a, a different list of geoengineering products and, and projects that there's patents for. And they go all the way back to 1891. And this is what I was talking about, 1891. This has been ongoing forever. And it really goes on way past that because, again, it, it's ultimately not humans that are in control of these programs. You know, so you really have to wonder what's <laughs> what what's up their sleeve. I mean, why is it so important to literally change our atmosphere and how hard do we have to push back? Really? You know, that's the concern for me is they do it so, so slow. A lot of people think we're just fear mongering, but it's just we keep on top of everything. We are watching everything because that's what we do. We we're watchers. We are beings that have been sent here for the purpose to keep an eye on things, to help tell other people so that maybe we can shift the consciousness in a positive way. It has nothing to do with fear mongering. We look at things for what they are. We see them in the 3D and we don't deny them. It's easy to turn your head and not look. That's the not stressful thing to do. But we can't do that. It's our calling and there should be no one person to judge another person's calling because it's so personal and it's you and it's yours and it's what you do. So we bring this information out of love because we have been affected in deep, deep ways uh, personally. This comes straight from the heart. We don't want people to continue to suffer and we do see it accumulating ever so slowly, but it's not that there's nothing happening. Things are happening and people should be getting ready if it's at all possible at that same rate and se separating themselves from from the system that they're putting in place. Um, and our consciousness does matter. So if there's a way we can change timeline by bringing this stuff up and bringing it to people's attention so they can say, hey, I don't want this. I do not consent. That matters. That absolutely matters. And there are some serious prayer warriors out there that can, that can really move some energy. And they're very, very, very much unsung. And they're very unfortunately not noticed but you guys are out there and we've talked to you we know you we see you we feel you don't give up it's appreciated please never give up no and this is still a marathon even though there's challenges and again world war one happened and the world went on world war two happened and the world went on world war three is going to happen and the world's going to still go on. It, it, there may be more casualties than in the other two wars in a very, very brief period. But things will still go on for those that make it through the, these times. And what the guides have said, because Cindy out of the blue was picking up an 11-year time frame. And then when she was under full channel on this video over here, which is on uh, Patreon, uh, she, they went into full detail. The guys went into full detail. Our contacts at the Galactic Federation 
uh, we're explaining, yeah, it does look like it's an 11 to 15 year transition period. So it's not like it's even boom and, you know, there you go. It's all done. We're right there. Again, we don't, we don't give people what they want to hear. We give them what we have. We give them th the world as we know it. Uh, we give them the information as we know it. We, we don't, you know, blow smoke up your butt and say, you know, hey, don't worry. The white hats are coming. You know, you're going to be you're going to find yourself in 5D in just a matter of months or weeks. You know, no, because it's 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 a process. In fact, these transition periods between yugas are thought to last 300 years, 300 years of transition. So. You know, we are heading out of the darkest of the dark age, but that dark is lack of knowledge, lack of understanding. So all it means really is that we're going to understand the bigger picture. And this is what the guys were saying. You will no longer have to wonder about your control system. It's going to be completely obvious what your control system is really all about. And that's what we're starting to see. Lunchables, lead, what are you really trying to do? Toxic chemicals in our water, what are you really trying to do? Convincing us to spray poisons all over our yards, give ourselves cancer, what are you trying to really do? It's pretty obvious what they're really trying to do. You know, I mean, the reason we bring it up, not to scare people, but maybe a mama is just too busy and she doesn't know about the Lunchables. And we bring it to the forefront and say, hey, this is a problem. Well, now that mom has the option to, or dad, to shift and to do something different. This is why we bring it up. We are changing things to the best of our ability to make this world a better place. And we're all going to do it together. Absolutely. And and we will not pull punches. We're going to tell you exactly what we know. Uh, and whether that's, you know, viewed as harsh or, or viewed with gratitude, we can only just give you what we know and, and from the heart and honestly. And so it, it is uh, it's a marathon still. It is still a marathon. So it's going to it's going to take a while. Yet we are going to be facing ever increasing challenges, but at least we will have uh, a sense of clarity about what's going on. And that's really what the light is about. It's about bringing clarity. So we really truly know what's going on and then we can make better judgments. Source blessing. Namaste. Namaste.